And so you try these lame things uh, to be spiritually sophisticated. But spiritual elevation comes at the strangest moments. Uh, and it came for me uh, about 10 years ago. I had one of those moments. I do a show on Friday nights uh, called The News Hour with Jim Lehrer. Thank you. Uh, and I do it with a guy named Mark Shields. Our, our segment, it's Shields and Brooks. Uh, we want to call it Brooks Shields. That would have been better, but they didn't go for that. Uh, it's Shields and Brooks. Before me, it was Shields and Ger or Shields and Chico, Shields and Gergen, Shields and Calvin Coolidge, uh, <laughs> Shields and I think Plato. It started out as. Um, but I, I came home. This was about 10 years ago, and I was living in Bethesda, Maryland. And it was about 7:30 at night, and I drive into my driveway, which sort of wrapped around the house. And my three kids, who were then like 12, 9, and 4, were in the backyard, and they had one of these supermarket balls. Uh, and they were kicking it up in the air, this plastic ball, and they were chasing across the yard to get to the ball, and they were tumbling all over each other, and they were laughing, and they were giggling, and just putting a pile of kids on top of a ball. So I pull into the driveway, and I see this tableau, all parents have seen it, of just perfect family happiness. And I just sit there in the car looking at it through the windshield. And it's one of those moments when life and time feel like they're suspended. And I had a feeling of being overwhelmed with gratitude. Reality sort of spits, spills outside its boundaries. You experience a joy that's greater than anything you ever feel at work. Uh, and you, you, you're sort of alerted to higher joy. And you want to be worthy of such moments. And that's a moment where gratitude and really grace, unmerited love, lifts you up and inspires you to try to be higher. I uh, get those moments sometimes with those, with those kinds of experiences. And sometimes I get it when I meet somebody who radiates an inner light. You meet these people about every 30 days or so, or maybe more often if you're lucky, where they just radiate an inner light. I was saying the other day that one of the people I, I met uh, at a Washington function of all places was the Dalai Lama. And he just radiates that light. He's the sort of person who laughs for no apparent reason. And so he starts laughing. And then I, I'm sitting next to him, and I want to be polite, so I start laughing. Then he laughs, and I laugh. And like, I feel I should insert a joke just to justify the laughter. And the one thing I said was that I was nervous. So I, he has a little canvas Dalai Lama bag. So I said, you got any candy in your bag? And so he starts pulling out what's in the bag. And it's everything you get in the first class cabin of an international flight. <laughs> It's like the earplugs, the eye patch, little razor, Toblerone bar. But when you're around people like that, you think, or at least I think, you know, I've achieved way more career success than I ever thought I would. But that inner light, the ability to glow with joy and grace, that I don't have. And how do you get that? 